Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today and talk lipsticks. I had a request to do my top five drugstore and high-end lipsticks. And um, I have, I'm doing a top five and a couple of these have honorable mentions because I couldn't pick. So I'm gonna do high-end, drugstore, lip liners, and glosses. So I'm gonna jump right into this. Okay, I'm gonna start with liners. Um, my very favorite, y'all, I'm gonna start at the top with my favorite, is Lancome The Rose. I love this liner. It is just a, hold on, I got the brush end. This is just a real nice deep pink. And I like a deep liner, deeper than my lipstick, so it kind of gets into my lipstick a little bit. I love the Lancome liners and I love this color, the rose. I probably will keep a backup of that. Okay, and then I'll go on with another, I don't know that this is number two, it's another Lancome. Now this one's pretty deep, y'all. This is Portel, right there. And it's a little browner, like a little earthier, super nice. I really like that one. Um, then I have, I'll just give y'all all my Lancomes at one time. This is close to being second. I might should have done this one second. This is, you can tell this is used, Ideal. And I heard about this on Lisa Lisa D1. If you watch her, you've probably heard of this too. It's kind of a mauve dusty pink right there. That's super nice. I picked that one up a lot. Rimmel. And this is in... Cafe LA, but it could be in uh, 10 different shades of Rimmel liner. These are comfortable to use. They last well. Every time I use one of these, I think, why do I spend money on expensive liners when Rimmel liners are so good? And I like my favorites. I think the end just came off. Okay, and this, um, this is like a coffee color. Cafe LA. It's a real neutral. That is so nice, y'all. The Rimmel liner, she just can't go wrong with those. Okay, and then lastly, the It, Your Lips But Better liners. And I like these too. I have one in Romantic Rose. And these twist. That's real similar to kind of ideal. Really nice. And y'all, when I'm using a liner, I'm not looking for anything to last all day. I mean, nothing really lasts that well on me. I'm just looking for smooth and a good color there. Super nice, I like these too. So those are my favorite liners with the rose being way ahead of all the others. <laughs> I love the rose. Okay, then I'm gonna go to, um, let's do some drugstore lipsticks. Um, I've used for years Ferris Nude. And I'm gonna do these here. Ferris Nude, L'Oreal, a peachy nude. It is beautiful for daily wear. Love it. Um, lasts well, doesn't dry my lips out. I'm gonna say though, if I have a favorite drugstore right now, and I heard about this on Lisa Lisa D1, it's the taupe, hold on, that's dirty. It's the taupe baby lips. Toasted taupe baby lips. This is easy to put on, um, moisturizes your lips, real light enough for me. I don't have to do any concealer work with that. It's just, I love the baby lips. Here, I'm going to put a little on. Uh-huh. Lightens whatever you're already wearing. It's super nice. This is my favorite drugstore right now. That is my very top. Okay, and then I picked this one up a couple of months ago. This is number 920 Nude Lust by Maybelline. And I really like this one. This is just a real, you know, I should call this video 100 Shades of Nude. That. It's beautiful. That's super nice. I really enjoy that one. And then the last two are L'Oreal's. And these are from their matte collection. Masterpiece number 802. Real nice. Right there. Really like that. 
And then number 800, this is matte carbon or carbon. And it's that one. Super nice. The L'Oreal's, the L'Oreal formula, I'm just comfortable with it. I've used it for so long. It doesn't dry me out. Um, I love it. So those are my top five drugstores. Now I'll move on to my high end. And I have got two that are tied for first place, y'all. I love these. I'm telling you, I reach for these more often than anything else. I'm going to start with the one I've had the longest. Natasha Denona Smoky Rose. If you've been with me, y'all, I love this. I don't have to put any concealer on with it. I'm just going to continue on down my arm. That. A dusty rose. Just like it says. It's beautiful. Doesn't dry my lips out. Creamy. Um, it's just beautiful. That has got to be my holy grail. But this is close, y'all. This is MAC Hue. And this is a dupe for Tom Ford Nude Vanille, I think. Um, that's the rumor I've heard. <laughs> I've never had the Tom Ford Nude Vanilla. I love this so much. It kind of does what the baby lips does and goes lighter. This I reach for all the time. I have backups of it, like my Natasha Denona Smoky Rose. I usually start with this, and then through the day, I touch up with this. More often than not, that's what I have on. Then I also picked up... This is Nude Edition by Sexy Mother Pecker. This is between drugstore and high-end. I think this was $12. Heard about this on a Mandy Davis MUA. And this is also a dupe for Tom Ford Nude Vanille. Very nice. And it does a lot the same. It's a lot like Mac Hugh. It's super nice. That's super nice. Okay, and then I have two Charlotte Tilburys. And I've got one in Kim KW. Okay, this is Kim KW, and I really like this one, y'all. This one's super light, too, of course. Right there. Very nice. I don't know that I will replace that because it was so pricey, and I like the MAC and the Sexy Mother Pecker um, just as well. I don't remember how much I paid for that, but probably too, <laughs> probably too much. And then this one is Nude Kate. It's beautiful too. Okay, here, right there. That's beautiful too. But again, I don't know if I'll replace it just because it, I'm sure it was pricey. So, and you know, I have other things that I like that were less. MAC lipsticks are not that bad. I'm thinking 17, but I'll link those down below. And um, an honorable mention, I have to put this in y'all. MAC Blankety. It's so pretty, that one. And I love that. That's that's like a lipstick ideal. Lancome ideal and this one are very similar. Those would go real well together. So the blankety gets honorable mention. If I was going to do a top six, he would have been there easy. Okay, then I've got five glosses. And I'm going to say my favorite is the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. I love this. I think it has silver undertones. Lightens things just a shade, just gives it a beautiful glow. I love the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. Right behind that is the Moon Glow. Uh, look at the silvery undertone in that. It's beautiful. Hold on. Um, right there. It's beautiful too. I love the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar and Moon Glow. And could those be closer? Like those are so close. I could pick these up. Do pick those up interchangeably. Okay, then it's the Buxom White Russian. I love this. It's a cult classic. Y'all have probably all heard of it. Um, it's it's beautiful. I'm gonna put that right over here. Kind of lightens things up a shade. Just ah, uh, beautiful. This is very much like my Marc Jacobs. Okay, then I also love the Buxom Samantha. I love that. It's like a sheer pink that just makes your lips, gives them a nice glow. Doesn't lighten them quite as much as the White Russian, but I love, I love both of these. I get them confused. They're very close. And then I have a one that's, when they were out of the Samantha and the White Russian at my Ulta, I picked up the Kimberly, and this is nice. It's kind of a candier 
pink. I don't pick it up as much. It's just a little pinker. And it's super nice. So, okay, and that is, um, that's it for my lipsticks. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave questions or comments down below, and I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.